Hello! I am Mac, at least for a day, and everything's going to be okay. I'm back on this extreme hot planet to read the comments from the Lava Planets video I did a few days ago. Now, there was quite a few comments on that video, so I'm not going to be reading everybody's comments, uh, especially... Um, I'm mainly going to be picking out the unique uh, ideas that people had. A lot of people said some of the same things, and I also will paraphrase some people to just include the parts with new ideas involving lava planets. So I'm sorry if I don't read your comment, or if I don't read all of your comment, but I don't want to uh, repeat the same ideas too many times. So first up is Plo617. They said, Lava Planets would add a really cool aesthetic to the game. Dangerous volcanic ash being shot out of the ground. Heat rising from the ground, distorting your vision. Lava getting shot out of the ground randomly like a geyser. Terrifying creatures covered in flame or ash. A beautiful hellhole that would make exploration way more interesting. I want it. Not more than sand dunes and sandworms, though. So he's got some pretty good ideas. Uh, quite a few people gave the idea of... Oh, perfect timing. The idea of having a guy just like small geysers uh, in one place, and some people likened it to these things, these plants, these new plants they added that explode with toxins. So it would basically be like that. It wouldn't be a plant, but it would just be a spot on the ground where lava might shoot up when you get close to it, or at certain intervals. So it would just be another hazard um, that would be on planets that are lava planets. Or maybe, maybe that kind of hazard could even be on any type of planet. If, if they made it so that there was lava underground on planets, that's another cool idea. As usual, I'm just coming up with ideas on the fly. But, um, I mean, you know, in real life, as far as I know, just about every planet has a molten core. Um, in No Man's Sky, we just have this bedrock. If you dig straight down, you eventually come to bedrock and you can't go any farther. It would be really cool if planets had a lava center. Of course, that would mean instant death if we fell through the world, which happens sometimes because of bugs. But um, that, that would be really cool if they made it so that all planets are kind of lava planets because they would have lava um, at the center. And so they could still have water, but maybe it would be possible for the lava to reach the surface at times or, you know, just have the small hazards like the geysers that might shoot lava up in certain areas. So definitely cool ideas there. And of course, he talked about creatures covered in flame and ash. That would be really cool and very possible because Hello Games has finally started to add more otherworldly creatures. Like on exotic planets, we have balls of energy and electricity and weird stuff like that. So creatures made of fire or having fire on their bodies are definitely not too far-fetched if they've already added other things similar to that. Okay, so Boomstick Joe, my good friend, says, I would love to see a Mustafar. He's referring to, I believe, the planet um, in the third Star Wars prequel where um, Anakin and Obi-Wan um, had their duel. And I think Mustafar was also included in Rogue One, the kind of Star Wars spin-off movie that featured um, Darth Vader uh, living on that planet. I don't know why he would want to after what happened to him there, but anyway, Mustafar is a lava planet from the Star Wars uh, universe. Uh, and Boomstick Joe says, you would need to build special equipment to aid in exploring such worlds. 
Why restrict planets to water? Or sorry, plants to water? Since it's a sci-fi game, we can have special crystal plants that feed on minerals from the lava and crystalline creatures that feed on plants and other fauna as well. These fauna and flora would be resistant to the lava and you would need to farm them to make suit expansions allowing you to explore the lava oceans, etc. So yep, a lot of cool ideas there. It's kind of similar to the lava lamp plants we already have because, ooh, storm crystals. Um, one could argue that these lava lamp plants are already feeding on lava or have lava in them but of course it's just an animation and it's not like destroying them like makes them explode and get lava on you or something like that um uh we'll talk about this more as people suggest this but i'm thinking the way people are talking about it, it would probably be good to make lava planets a completely separate biome because we've already got hot planets. Um, I'll go into that more later. I don't want, I'll, I want to go ahead and read the comments that kind of involve that. So Ivano Forgione says, lava planets should be only lifeless planets, the empty, very alien ones or exotic ones, I think he means. Uh, plants on fire would be cool. They could work like toxic plants do in caves, quite damaging being around them. It would be cool to extinguish fires by throwing water with a new multiplayer mode. Sorry, multi-tool mode. Um, yeah, so that kind of goes into what I was just mentioning. Um, he's saying that lava planets would not have life on them, which would solve the problem of having lush palm trees near lava um it, it would basic the way he's saying it would basically be a new type of exotic planet um which would be really cool so it'd be like a dead planet but it would have lava oceans and it would have like bizarre maybe lava plants or some kind of constructs the way exotic plants do that are very fiery and he mentioned plants that are continually on fire and if you get close to them you are harmed so yeah a lot of cool ideas there um so yeah it may be it may be a good idea if they don't just make it possible for oceans to generate as lava oceans instead just have lava planets be a completely separate type of world um, it would be cool even if we got, um, so we've got normal planets and extreme planets, like I'm on an extreme hot planet right now, maybe they could make a third level and like make super extreme planets, which is kind of dumb, but super extreme planets would be completely different because extreme planets right now are just hotter version of a hot planet or a colder version of a cold planet but they have the same plants and rock assets on them as a normal hot planet or a normal cold planet has but a super extreme hot planet would be a lava planet and then maybe a super extreme cold planet would have no life on it except maybe like maybe ice elemental creatures like they would there would be like all new exotic planets that are hazardous um so we could have like lava planets or the super extreme hot planet that have lava creatures and fire creatures and fire plants and then super extreme cold planet would have maybe like ice creatures and ice plants made of ice and stuff like that and i don't know what else but whoop Maybe extreme toxic would be like a diseased planet where the whole planet is covered in like uh, Lovecraftian goo and like the whole planet is made of, of deadly and like o acid oceans and um, tentacly masses of goo everywhere. That would be really cool. So just an idea if they could make like super extreme planets that would have all new assets on them that would be just totally crazy and insane. 
I know that's kind of hoping for a lot, but it would be really cool if if Hello Games would really take off the gloves and make really bizarre, crazy stuff. Um, moving on, Lord Markov says, I think they could introduce them, meaning Lava Planets, with other game mechanics that players have asked for. With Lava, Hello Games could add liquid flow mechanics that would also add rivers and waterfalls. They could also add technologies that would enable exploration in lava, slime, quicksand, plasma. I'm thinking sonar, viscous movement boosters, and torpedoes, RPGs for your multi-tool, etc. So that's kind of along what I was saying, um, adding all new crazy stuff, and he mentions uh, liquid flow mechanics which I know would be really difficult to introduce into the game engine because right now water is all the same level like water doesn't move across the land um, it's all basically there's like an every planet has its own ocean ocean level and all water that you find is exact that that exact same level um, I think you understand what I mean. Um, like if you dig down, you always find water in the same spot as it is in the oceans, the uh, the sea level, um, I should say. So, um, but people have long said they would like to see moving rivers, moving waterfalls, and of course that could also add like you know moving lava rivers and lava water lava falls. Um, but again, that would be very difficult for them to program into the game engine, and I don't know if they'll end up doing that or not, just because it would be so difficult. Uh, but that would be very cool. And he mentioned slime and quicksand. That's another thing. Um, it would be nice to have swamp planets like Dagobah, where there's like mud and viscous fluids. Um, that are hard to move in and things like that and quicksand like if they finally added sand dune planets we have we have desert planets with sand texture on the ground but the ground doesn't doesn't like make it hard to move like sand does and there's no quicksand that would be really cool if you could fall into quicksand and like go into an underground sand cavern or something um, obviously the the human imagination is limitless, and there's limitless ideas that we can come up for No Man's Sky, um, but it's all a question of what is Hello Games capable of doing, and what is the engine capable of being changed. I don't know how much they can change the game engine after the game has been made. Obviously, they can add new features on the surface, like new, new assets and new new ship parts and things like that, but I don't know if they can actually change the core game engine without messing everything up. Um, we've had, you know, a lot of universe resets, but I don't think universe resets have changed the physics of the game at all. And I don't know if they can do that or not. Um, so yeah, game physics has pretty much always been the same ever since the game has been added, and I don't know if they're ever going to change that. So all these things that we really want, like waterfalls and stuff, may not be possible if they can't change the underlying physics of the engine. Um, but anyway, uh, Joseph Oxarek, I'm sorry, I'm sure I'm not pronouncing that right, but Joseph O says... If lava is molten rock, maybe some sort of sift system to sift quantities of it for ore, like on Mustafar, or find more natural ore deposits due to volcanic activity on the planet. Now, I really like this idea. It would be so cool if a planet had lava and we had new technology that we could build near the lava, like have a pipeline connecting to the lava, and we could like collect the lava and like harden it into new elements and materials and stuff like that. That is a really cool idea. Uh, and he also said um, including like more surface resources. So it'd be kind of like uh, erupting volcanoes left um, 
left the deposits that we see because right now deposits are no longer big egg shapes or cylinders in the world now they're just these little spots on the ground and they kind of resemble like what used to have been a molten puddle so it would make sense if a lava eruption could deposit like a big big blob of lava and then that hardens into the resource deposits that we mine let me see if I can find one nearby to see what I mean just for a whoops visual yeah there's a sodium deposit um, now, I'm not saying that it would dynamically create um, element deposits. I'm just saying that it, it would make sense that a planet with like erupting volcanoes would have more mineral deposits because the volcanoes are bringing up, um, bringing up the materials from deep inside the planet and they're like getting thrown onto the ground where we can mine them. So yeah, that would be really cool, and it would make make us have a reason to go to a lava planet. Because obviously, if you're going to add super super hazardous planets, you want a reason to go there. And some people have mentioned other reasons already, but um, yeah, if you're going to add a really difficult to survive in planet, there's got to be a reason to be there. Extreme planets already will have like they added the new storm crystals that we just saw that are only on extreme planets, I think. And there's the old kind of resources that have all been changed, but we still have them. We have the weird ball things that used to be callium, and the blob things that I think were also callium, and then the floating crystals that were omegon, um, but they all give different things now. Um, so there's reasons to go to e extreme planets because they have extra resource nodes that normal planets don't have. Um, and of course, if you added even more extreme planets, like lava planets, then you would have to have even more reason to go to them. Otherwise, people would just avoid them because they're, they'd be so deadly, and you would need specialized equipment to explore them, like another person said. Um, so then Aldebar says, well, one of the things he said, I'm paraphrasing it, but he said the gameplay aspect of lava could be as simple as a certain type of resource that only exists under lava flows, therefore requiring a certain tech upgrade to go into the lava. So yeah, um, there's another person saying that you would need specialized tech, like some kind of lava suit, I guess. Or it would probably be just an upgrade in your exosuit inventory that would allow you to go in lava and there would be like special resources on the floor of the lava ocean or whatever. And yeah, that would be really cool. And that's what we were just talking about, that we would need um, special resources to entice us to actually go to those places. Um, and there's many comments about the lava geysers being a small hazard like flora, and which I mentioned earlier. Um, so a lot of people think that would be a good idea, and that I think would be better than having lava oceans, would be just to have small little pools or geysers of lava that would be an extra hazard and would probably also be something you would want to get close to to get some kind of special resource. So you wait until the lava isn't shooting up and then you go close to the lava vent and like get some kind of gemstones on the side of it or whatever. Um, so yeah, that, that's, that's a good idea that a lot of people had. And then Joseph Cadet says, maybe not large pools of lava, but lava rivers would be nice. Imagine platforms surrounded by lava that have valuable resources. Having a jetpack, having to jetpack carefully to obtain the resources would add some fun. I don't think touching the lava should be sudden death. Cave networks could have lava in them. So a couple of real good ideas there. He is talking about lava rivers, and I really like the idea of having like you know rocks in the river that you can jump 
to each rock to stay out of the lava and like on those rocks there could be resources so that that would be an incentive to brave the lava rivers um just having rocks out in the middle of the lava river you have to jetpack over to it and grab it and then jetpack over the lava again that's that's a pretty cool idea and i like that um, and he also said lava and caves, which I really like. And that is another thing. I may do a video about that as well as the whole cave issue. Um, but yeah, if we could have caves with lava in them, that would be uh, a really cool addition to the game, uh, in my opinion. So there's been a whole lot of really good ideas. Uh, I especially like the idea of lava planets being a separate type of planet rather than adding lava oceans to all of the current biomes. I think that is probably the route that they should take um, instead of, you know, messing up some planets with lava oceans. Um, having a separate, totally separate biome and everything there would be different. We wouldn't have any of these same hot planet assets. We would have totally new like burning plants and fiery creatures and uh, things like that in addition to the lava oceans and everything else that people had ideas for. I and mean, we would need specialized equipment to explore these super extreme exotic planets. Um, so that is the comments from the lava plants video. I think what I'm going to do, I'm on spring break now. I work at a school and um, it, we're off for spring break for the rest of this coming week. I think I'm gonna start doing daily uploads of the speculation series um, and doing, you know, on one day do a video about a new topic and then the next day doing the comment video um, and so on for all of this coming week. And I think I'm going, to, that's going to lead to the climax and the end of this series. Uh, and we'll see where we go from there. Um, but yeah, believe it or not, daily uploads this week probably. Uh, it's been a while since I've done daily stuff. Um, but yeah, I would, there's a lot of more ideas for topics for the speculation I'd like to do, but I think I will um, increase the frequency and then wrap it up by the end of this coming week. Um, so that's it on the Lava Planets, and I will be back tomorrow, Saturday, with a new topic. So, I have been Mac, thank you for joining me for a day, and remember, everything is going to be okay.